Hi guys, it's Peter back for yet another video. Today I'm going to do a collection video. I'm going to do Alice in Chains, but I'm going to, instead of just putting CDs in one video, vinyl in another, I'm going to put it together because I have four CDs and three vinyl. So there's not, there's a little bit of each, so I'll just put it in the one video. So I'll, I'll do that today. And I don't think I've done an Alice in Chains collection before. No, I don't believe I have, so... I'll just start off now. I haven't got facelift. I've heard facelift a lot, but I haven't got a CD or vinyl or facelift. But I'll start off with the CDs. Uh, Dirt, of course, from 1992. Probably my, oh, probably it is my favourite album. I like other albums too, of course, but I like that cover as well. So Dirt from 1992. There's the back. Such a great band. I think out of those um, so-called grunge era um, bands, I think they're the one who's has pretty much stood the test of time the best out of all of them. And they just seem to have an extra edge to me. A real good band. Lane Staley, of course. Um, rest, may you rest in peace. I really, uh, the William DeVal period at the moment is rather good, but I just, uh, uh, this Lane Staley is the one that got me into it. So there's a CD. And let me take you through the booklet. And I don't have everything. I'm missing a couple of albums. Um, this is like a fold out deal. You sort of get that. And lyrics on the other well, the, on the other side. Yeah, so that's uh, Dirt, a real um, mu uh, an essential album for sure. Many classics, you know, you know them down in a hole. What a classic that is! Uh, Rooster, Wood, Angry Chair, Them Bones. So that's a great one to get. Uh, then I've got the self-titled 1995 album, the last um, studio album with um, Lane Staley. The cover of the three-legged dog, he's got the green eyes. I think there's a pretty vari variance in these. One had a greeny coloured case, a different variants of it. This is excellent too. Uh, some people's favourite because um, uh, sort of this album is really good, strong album. Yeah, so you get. Um, you know, it's on this grind, uh, Sludge Factory, Heaven Beside You is a good song. Uh, God Am, of course, Nothing Song, Frogs, Over Now. Underneath is what? Not much, I don't think. There you go. And the booklet in here is... Like so, it's got the lyrics here. Yeah, so if it opens, like so, I think. So if I'm not, yeah, just a fold out thing again. Oh no, that goes longer. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so it's got the sort of the the cover in the front there, so at the back, and all the lyrics there, and the lyrics on the other side, and so on. From 1995, and um, a real good album. I really like this one. Uh, yeah, I haven't played it for a while, but I remember liking it a lot. Excuse me. And then I have um, from La uh, the Willem Deval, the only Willem De William Deval. Um, CD I, I have. This is what, what year did this come out? 2013, The Devil Put Dinosaurs here. Yeah, this, is, this is a decent release. I mean, well, I liked, uh, liked the hollow, of course, Stone and Voices, uh, you know, Lab Monkey, you know, uh, Hung on a Hook, Choke. There's a CD. It's been quite a while since I've played this. I remember at the time playing it. Uh, 
and the booklet. And see, you see that when it comes out of the red, it's like that. And when you put it, obviously under the red, the case is red, as you can see. And nice touch, I guess. Um, Sort of all sort of booklet deals, uh, uh, the the the, um, the booklets, fold out sort of things, and I haven't got. Um, although I've heard it online, I haven't got. Um, what's that album? Um, Black gives way to blue, which is a real real some good tracks on that one actually, um, and. Uh, You haven't got that one, but the last CD I have is um, The Essential, early 2000s, uh, double CD. All the Lane Staley era. It's got a couple of unreleased songs here, remixes, unplugged version. Oh, which is I unplugged the album actually, but yes. Um, on this one, just some pictures here. Glenn Staley, of course the um, the. Main um, force behind him, I guess, is Jerry Cantrell, very talented guy, and um, they got Sean Kinney these days, Mike Inez, and uh, William William Duval. But yeah, it's a good compilation um, to have. And then I'll give you the vinyl for you. Um, first one, I ha I have three vinyls. I have Dirt Again on vinyl. Uh, Dirt Again, where is it? Dirt, bit of dirt on vinyl. Now, took the plastic sleeves off because sometimes there's a bit of glare with those sleeves. You get a bit of glare when you're showing them inside. Like the lyrics, like the CD lyrics, yeah, and who, who plays a what, and thank yous and whatever. The back, and the vinyl, the record is like so Columbia, like label. It's music on vinyl, of course. So it sounds pretty good, the music on vinyl. They're a very well renowned company doing the, the stuff, uh, you know, making the reissues and so on. But this, I believe, the original go for quite a bit. I mean, this is a, I got this a few years ago, but uh, it's a good sounding reissue. And then um, I have two more to show you. That's Dirt. And I've got, um, what have we got here? Oh yeah, very great sounding release as well. It's got the Sap EP and the um, Jara Flows EP together on oh, yeah, double vinyl one, and, and I, th I believe um, the fourth side hasn't got anything. I think it has an itching. I'll just have another look. It's been a while since I've had a look at this, and it's beautifully glossy cover. Uh, the dirt one isn't so much, but this is a. Uh, Nice glossy and, uh, music on vinyl again. That's nice. So it's got that. So you've got sort of got, um, yeah, um, what have I got? The, um, what do you call it? Jar of Flies and the Sap on, uh, Jar of Flies on one and two and the Sap on the third side, so the second rick on the third side. And it does have um, colored sleeve, you know, sleeves, there you go. 
lyrics. It's a nice record, this one. Some great songs on that Sap EP. The other side is that. And, uh, on the other one is, um, what do we got? Like so. Lyrics, of course. And there is something on the other side, but I'll have to have a look uh, from memory. Uh, that's the sap side, all the sap songs. And I think that, yeah, there's like an etching. It's easy to see too. There it is. It's quite a good touch. Does there? Yeah, so it's got that sort of itching on the other side to make up the four sides. So there you have it. That's that release. And um, last but not least, the, uh, the other only one I have is um, the MTV Unplugged on vinyl, which is an excellent performance. Very glossy again. So the dirt is the only one of, of these vinyls that isn't glossy. That's very glossy. And there is a track on here that didn't appear on the album. So the last song, Killer Is Me, which is a good one. And it's got all the favorites, you know, Nutshell, Brother, you know, No Excuses, Angry Chair, Rooster, Down in the Hole, uh, Frogs. No gay fault for this, funnily enough. They just put it in a... Uh, and not even put it in so just put it in paper, but they're, at least they're poly lines, so, um, and all they are is like, well, but again, it's just, just the colour and be a label on each side. And there's the other one. There you have it. That's all I have on Alice in Change CD and vinyl. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what you think. If you've heard um, the latest album, I've heard a little bit of it. Um, let me know what you think, the one they did a while back. And all things Alice in Chains. So, hope you enjoy this video, and it's bye for now. Bye.